Boom, what's up everybody? My name is Kim and today I'm going to be showing you how to install your first apps and get you started with that. Uh, you won't be seeing my face down in the corner as I usually do. My camera broke and after uh, Hurricane Ida and all that, can't really take it out of the budget right now. Uh, you will just be a voiceover or hear a voiceover on the screen recording. I'm going to try making this quick and easy and I'm going to show you one, two, three, four, five apps to install and how to install them uh, really quickly. And this is going to be the five next apps I install after fresh install. So you can do a few things. You can go here down to applications and these are just a list of the different categories that you probably going to install a one app or something from. So you can do here is uncheck Firefox and I recommend going up to Vivaldi. It's a Norwegian browser. The guy who started, built it, makes it. It's Norwegian. It's under Norwegian privacy laws and they're amongst the best in the world uh, from what I can see. Okay, so once you've gone through all of this and you pick out all your apps, all you need to do is hit update system. So all I'm going to do is do this one from here. You can see it's going to remove Firefox. Hit apply. Type in your password. It's going to tell you here if you want to install the FFMPG uh, add-on here. And I say yes because you want to be able to play content uh, through your web browser as well. So this is going to go really quickly. You can hit apply here and now you can go detail if you want to see everything it did but it's done. So now we're going to close down this and I'm going to show you two ways of installing. So you can type in add and you can see add remove software comes up and that's the GUI way or the graphical user interface here to using the console or your preferred shell. So I'm going to make my font a little bit bigger. So the first thing we're going to check is just which uh, Jack D. That's an audio server. So if you want to do music production stuff, you might want to take advantage of an um, audio server that is capable of multi-threading. The, the regular Jack that is installed do not have that capability. So you might want to upgrade. So the way you do it. Uh, you can either uh, search here, so type in PAMAC and then uh, search if you want to search for it and you can say Jack 2 and hit enter and you can see it comes in here, it's already installed here on this, so you can also go over, uh, sorry, browse here and just type in Jack 2 and hit enter and you can see you get get the same list here. Pamac, when you use Pamac here, it's the same as if you go on in here and it will see your AOR, your Arch user repository. So you can go in here to preferences, type in your password and here you can set up your uh, settings and third party you want to make sure you enable AUR support. Build packages and you can do see here whichever one else you want to do and I'm asked, I like to click this one as well okay so once you have installed that so if you want to use the command line if if it wasn't installed you can do pam ack install jack 2 and hit enter and you can see it's already up to date so it's skipping it for me control l to clear your terminal the next thing we're going to do here, I'm going to do all of this from the terminal, but you can use it over here as well. Because I want to show you two different ways, because you can use Pamac and then Pacman. So I'm going to install App Image Launcher, Plasma Firewall, and UFD, uh, UFW Firewall with Pamac. And then I'm going to use Pacman to install Wim, which is a text editor. So you can either write sudo pam hack and then install the first thing is app image lawn launcher make sure we spell it right and the next one is 
plasma-firewall and you just put a space in between them and then you want to do UFW that's I want a many firewall uh, you can use here hit enter it's gonna ask you for your password and it, now it's gonna go in and ask if you want to install extra options dependencies so you can choose one here if you want to if you want to install uh, the firewall uh, ID backend I don't want to because I'm gonna use uh, UFW so just hit enter it's synchronizing that package now it's gonna come up here and ask you about the plasma firewall all that just hit yes if you approve or and no if you don't want to apply the transaction this is gonna take a little bit and it's done that's cool Control L to clear the terminal. Now we're gonna install a Vim with Pacman. So you can do sudo pacman dash big S for install space and then Vim. Hit enter. And here you can see these are the two packages that we'll be installing. Total of 34.54 megabytes. Hit yes. It's gonna install it. Very cool. So now we're gonna go test out the app image launcher so first thing we want to do here is internet go uh, online so you can now you can right click here and pin to task manager now your browser will live down here so I'm going to type in Joplin app and let's hit search and then Joplin app here and this is the best note-taking cross-platform app I've ever used and it's got uh, encryption and everything so it downloads now on Linux you get a couple of different ways I like app images uh, so but you can also take this vget command here and paste it in the terminal and then install it from there but we're gonna do an app image just click Linux save it's gonna download it you can see it's done we can close the browser so now we all we will need to do here is go into Dolphin, our file manager, go to downloads. We can see we have the Joplin app. So there are two ways you can make this app executable. You can double click it and hit execute. I'm gonna close this down. And then you can also, if you right click in here, open terminal, that just puts you in the download folder immediately. LS lists everything in that folder or directory. So now you can write in che own, uh, sorry, che mod, then a plus, a small x, and then Joplin, and just start typing J O and tab, and it will come in. So now it's been made executable, so we shouldn't see that uh, ever again. So here is. Um, the app image launcher is going to create a new directory for you in the home username and then applications and that's fine unless you for me if you want to change it go to customize hit OK now it's asking you if you want to integrate it into the system which means you can go down here to the Manjaro icon and search for Joplin and will come up if you don't integrate it you have to go to this download folder and click it every time so I'm going to hit integrate and run. Run once will just run it once. This is taking just a second here. You can see we got Joplin app up. So if we, and it disappeared from there. So if we go in here now and type Joplin, uh, you can see it's there and you can just hit enter and it will come up. So that is a really quick easy how you can uh, use app images and app images is fantastic. I love them. Uh, the last thing we have here is Vim, the text editor. So I'm going to go back into console. And this one is what you'll be, at least I like Vim. So to, uh, we can CD change directory into documents. And then go there. We can LS. We can see we have nothing in here. See if I'm, or let me open up this one as well. And then just go to documents. We can see the document is empty. So we can do here type of Vim and then the name for our files. We can say 
uh, first file dot txt and then if I hit I we get into in search mode and I can say hello world and just I'm hitting all the wrong buttons here hit escape uh, colon or semicolon whatever you call that W and Q for write and quit and I can see we have a text file in here so that is what Wim does so you can open this up in in the default browser here which is Kate which is a fantastic uh, note pad and that is it for this tutorial the next time we'll be taking a look at a program called RK Hunter and we're gonna be taking a look at fire jail we're gonna install some Microsoft fonts and our clone we might get into our clone and that is it for this video, this tutorial. If you liked it, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and leave your comments down below if you learned something. If you're ex as excited as me to start learning Linux. And uh, I'll see you all next time.